This is a video explaining how to use a tile cross method to make a curbless shower. What we do first is we align the shower with the uh, 90 degree angle tiles that are in front of here. We line up one tile to get the drain perfectly into place. Then we line up the uh, tile cross. The layout is crucial on this. You have to get it right. Otherwise it looks so bad being crooked. So here we're lining up the tile drain. We're going to make a line here so that we can figure out where our cross goes. And uh, before we do any of this, we always waterproof our floors with, uh, if we're on the ground floor, with uh, migrating cement. And this does a great job making uh, the floors waterproof underneath the tiles. Here we're dry fitting the tiles just to sh make sure that our cuts aren't going to be awful. And uh, the spacing is going to be good. Here we're installing the first set of tiles. This is really important to get this right. You use a bar to get it to slope right into the drain perfectly. A, a three foot bar. Um, once you have your tile cross in place, you can work from this into all directions. So you can actually use this as your guide to start laying the other four inch pieces to get everything perfect because now you have all the directions covered. We always use a three inch drain in these curbless showers because the three inch drain is able to accommodate more water. And here we're using a bar just to test all our slopes. And uh, when you use the bar, you kind of get a really good answer if your, uh, your slope is continuous or not.